It's Ken Kelsey with another exciting episode from MrTruck.com. If you can hear us past the wind, we are in Estes Park again. All the tourists are here too. Everybody's out hiking and buying souvenirs. But today we have a 2018 Nissan Armada Platinum Reserve. It has that 5.6 endurance engine with a 7-speed automatic. And how much power do we have, Kelsey? We have 390 horsepower to 394 foot-pounds of torque. Awesome, and this will tow, <clears throat> I think we figured out 8,500. We're only pulling 3,500 because we just didn't get a bigger trailer this time. But we're up here and it's just blowing. It's not cold. It's wonderful up here. But we're going to take this up and down the mountain and try it out. So come join us. Kelsey, we'll see it blows up in Estes Park. I love the interior of this. This is the Armada Platinum Reserve. And I love the interior. Sam doesn't tell me if it's leather or wood, but this feels like leather. And this looks like wood. I'm going to bring my other camera out and come back down and talk about more of this stuff. The 70s or 80s, what does it say it's outside now? Uh, says speed. No, it's on. Speed limit 45. Wow, so it tells me say? speed limit. <laughs> wow, somewhere it tells us temperature. It's got to somewhere. I wonder if it's on yeah. the mirror. When you turn the mirror on, I wonder if it's on the mirror. Yeah, it could be. I need to turn it on. Push all these First button. buttons. Yeah, it doesn't want to talk to me. It wants to train Homelink. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll start opening people's garage doors down here. <laughs> That'll be interesting. Yes, indeed, and we're only pulling about 3,500 pounds. I've got a side-by-side -side UTV and an ATV in the trailer. So we're right around 35, maxing out the trailer axle. 84. 84, really? It's yeah. 84 degrees. Oh, what it says. Okay. Well, I thought it was pretty toasty. We've got the air conditioning on, which is unusual for the last, the second to last day of April. Trees are budding out. Beautiful Colorado. Yeah, they are. Now this has the 5.6 endurance of V8. I really like this V8. It's very powerful. Of course, it's direct injection and the fancy valves, the variable valves. But don't know exactly what axle ratio. I'm sure they're hitting fuel mileage numbers, so it's probably a 291 or something. Don't know. It's hard to hard to actually find out on these. And I didn't find exact towing capacity. This one has a max tow capacity, like properly equipped. And we do have the uh, brake controller prep package, but no brake controller. So the, uh, the people who handle the media, handle the media vehicles, they put us a Prodigy in. We got a stereo. I'm gonna shut that stereo on. It's got this XM radio and MP3 and DVD and CD and all kinds of stuff. I think it's got a whole bunch of speakers too. I have to count them up on here, but this one, I'm trying to remember what it's set to tow at. Uh, it can go all the way to 8,500 pounds. This is in, in both two wheel drive and four wheel drive. That's good. And this has um, um, four wheel independent suspension, so it can do that pelvis Elvis. I didn't put weight distributing bars on it. We don't, we don't have to do it to 5,000 pounds, but I think it's actually. It, it's a single axle, so it does porpoise a little bit up and down, teeter-totter. But it doesn't sway, so we've got the load balanced, right? And this, this endurance engine is 5.6. They have on a lot of their vehicles, a lot of the Infinity vehicles. And that's what's so cool about this. This interior is gorgeous in here. It's like an Infinity. They do such a good job with the lines. Everything matches up well, and it just, just looks, looks rich. And the visibility over the hood is... is above average too. You can see the ground right in front of you, especially when we're getting too close to bicycles. It's nice to know where they're at. But <clears throat> it's got a very short dash in it. Yeah, it does. It is, you know, it's... That helps that visibility. 
that's true, and it gives you room for more of the <coughs> gadgets in a center stack, buttons all over the place. I do like these mirrors. They're not towing mirrors, but they're, but they're deep. Taller. Yeah, yeah, they're deep, and on this side, when you look at from the driver's side, I can see it from here too. You can see the trailer tire, so I can look at both trailer tires, which I really like the mirror to do. a 30 mile an hour curve back there. Sorry, I took it at 45. <laughs> okay. Well, it's just fine. <laughs> People are passing me. Oh, you're like a high speed racer. Would you like me to slow down? No, no, you're fine. Now, what's that white mean? Come on, never the mirror. You don't have one on there? At least I must thought you was driving too close to the mountain, but you weren't even near the white line. I wonder why it came on. It's weird. <laughs> it was anticipating the mountains in front of us. <laughs> Rock, right? I guess so. But there's a lot to cover on this, so I want to cover some of them. And this, I, I know you don't like me reading off the, the right. running sticker, but it's too much to remember. There's I'm a old. lot in this vehicle. There yeah, really is. Yeah, it's a seven speed automatic, which is interesting. I think it does the well. These are 20 inch wheels, and I'll tell you in a little bit here, it's all on that platinum reserve package. They're a pretty dark color. Yeah, that's right. They're all it's a special. Actually, it's a special. Uh, well, it's got the captain's chairs package too. I love the captain's chairs. It's got the center console back there. We'll show you Kelsey checking it all out here in a little bit. But I really like the color. I mean, I'm usually not black and brown guy, but this looks nice. It looks rich. It looks rich. It's clean. It's the, the stitching is done very well. Yeah, it it it's pop. double stitching, and it's yeah, it's awesome. <coughs> buy some cherry juice <laughs> but anyway so the platinum reserve package is a 20 inch dark chrome wheels dark chrome front grill dark chrome door handles dark cram dark chrome <laughs> outside mirrors and two-tone leather seats and it's got unique stitching of course it is carpet floor mats carpet cargo mat the msrp on this is only sixty-seven thousand one hundred and forty-five. Which is pretty typical for this you know, high-end full-size SUV. I want to look under this, make sure, because I can't tell by this if it has an air ride. A lot of the Infinities do in this model, or the similar model. I don't see if it's a body on frame. I can't remember if this went back to a unibody or not, but we'll find out. We'll let you know. Vehicle dynamic control, which is the stability control. It's got, of course, anti-locking. Brake force distribution is really neat. That means it actually Put equalizes the camera on this side? Yeah, has it come off? It's gone. You're kidding me. No. Oh, man. I love that bracket. <laughs> I tighten the heck out of that thing. Well, that's a bummer. How are we going to see the mountains? Man? <laughs> <laughs> now that I'm looking at this side, we definitely don't have a camera back here. Wow. Oh, that's a bummer. Camera, it probably was time for it to be. I just got it fixed too. Oh well, <laughs> we'll figure out something. Maybe it slid into the trailer. No, it's hanging on the outside. <laughs> if it slid in the camera, I'd be very surprised. It says intelligent distance control, which I think is like adaptive cruise control, but they also have intelligent cruise control. So I don't know. What the difference is. I don't know. Usually, I guess it's got both of them. So this does have the lines there so you can determine how close you are to the vehicle. Cruise control will lock on that until you pass them and it goes up to the speed you set. I love adaptive cruise control. Now I just gotta call it intelligent cruise control plus the uh, intelligent distance control. It's got automatic emergency braking, which is gonna be pretty common. You gotta try hard to crash a vehicle now. It'll brake you, it'll stop you, it'll pull you in your lane. Oh, massage your seat in some instances. I don't think this has that. This does have automatic emergency braking. Automatic intelligent forward collision warning, which is good to be warned, and then you know the brakes kick on, it actually stops you. Lane intervention. You know, it's not like Chevy where it says drink more coffee. <laughs> it lines you back up in the center. Intelligent blind spot intervention. I guess that'll help us with the bicycles. You'll spot them, maybe it'll push them out of the way. I don't know what it does. I think it'll keep you in your lane. Oh, I see. An intelligent rear view mirror. There's not a lot of it's, intelligent features. There's my cherry juice. Right there. there. Right there. Going by. It's right Sorry, there. guys. It's right there. There's a lot of buttons on the bottom of the mirror, and if I had 
little more time, I could go through, so say, a manual or something to figure out what they did. Yeah, that would be nice. There's six buttons down there. Okay, Kelsey, you've been playing with the back seats and how to get them up and down. And what in the world? You got buttons here. What is this here. thing? I'm guessing it's a cover for the bumper so that you're not slipping when you're getting in and out. That's what I I'm guessing. I see. Even though it's got a track on the bumper, it's rubber or plastic. Mm -hmm. to, that feels like rubber. And then you got another thing. You sure that's what that is? I think so. Wow. Well, I guess you figure out the clips on it. Does yeah, it say that on there? That's what it says. Wow. Cover for your bumper. Now, not everybody has a cover for their bumper. Okay, you got plugins out here, cup holders all over the place. Everywhere. And you figured out how the seats fold up, huh? There's two buttons oh, right here. Wow, you're doing good. You knew more about seats than I do. My power both ways. Oh, well, that's cool. I'm wondering if there's. Oh, very cool. Yeah, it's got the. Folding headrests, I like that because sometimes they're in a way for visibility. Maybe. Try to push a button. Oh, there they go. Holy Come cow. On. Look like a little robot off of Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we figured all the back end out. Now let's go check out the middle row and the front row and the hood and all that stuff. Cool. I've never seen a tether yeah. back on the bumper. Car seat tether. Oh, yeah, that, that's, well, this is three rows, so mm -hmm. that would go forward, would it? And um, that would go for when the car seat faces forward. Okay. Oh, I see. Cool. Here, I'm going to roll this thing back up. That's the nice thing about this particular trailer we have from Low Trail is it's got a long tongue, so we don't hit tailgates on it or lift gates on it, which is be a bad thing. It's in this little, like, hidden pocket back here. Yeah. Oh, really? You got 20 inch wheels. You get a high, oh wow, look at that, there's a bench. There's storage underneath all that. Just a little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Lots of LED, but I like the running boards on these. They're decent. And the mirrors actually are, are pretty good. These are not Trader Toy mirrors, but they're deep. Which top to bottom, they're a lot deeper than most of them. And from the driver's side, or either side, you can actually see the right Trader mirror, which I really like. And then that's got a... Uh, they're decent for trailer towing. Want to get on the other side? There's those second row seats, captain's chairs, giant center console. It's got a big back seat. Yeah, and see if that, does that recline on this Platinum Reserve? Maybe. Three more buttons. There's gotta be a button. Oh, oh that's cool. Well, that's good, that's good. And then look at all this stuff. It's a huge this, center console. Yeah, it is. And then you got the, the remote and the headphones remote and all that Cup stuff holders. so you can. So you can glue off your 8-inch screen with the kids' key entertain. And look at all the stuff you got behind the front console. Mm, heated seats, USB chargers, volumes, I'm guessing, for the TV. Yeah, and they got remote headphones. This is cool. This is an interesting design. It's you know, like the holes heated. are for the, yeah, yeah, you got the heated and cooled seats, but very thick seats. I mean, this is a platinum reserve as it's stitched in there or melted in there, whatever it is. <laughs> But that's cool, and then it's got a little handle up here to fold. Look at that! It folds over twice! I love it! Wow, oh, that's cool. Can you get yeah, out? You can see you can fit back there. Well, that's good. Look at a giant window you have, like an airplane window. <laughs> oh, I can move the seats oh, from back yes, here. Oh, yes, you got power leaning seats, reclining. It looks comfortable. Cup holders galore. It actually, you got your knees in the air, but you're not like a basketball player. It's not bad. I mean, you just don't have your legs are going to be up in the air. That's how it's going to be. be up. It's just the way the seats are. Yeah, and usually when I go with independent rear suspension, they do have a little more room back there, but you got plenty of headroom. Mm -hmm. Got all the vents in the top. You got vents everywhere on this thing. Well, that's cool. You like it back there? It's kind of comfortable. You could ride a few thousand miles. Yeah. Move my. Uh... <laughs> back up and take a nap back here. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's check out the front seat. Look at this door. It's got these little wrinkles in it. Looks like a pillowcase kind of a thing. I'm sure there's a name for that. That is cool. And this wood looks so real. And that center knob is just awesome. Well, show me how it fits you. Looks like 10-way yeah. power seat. Yep. You should be able to do anything in here. <laughs> More gadgets. 
The knobs feel small, but I'm used to the pickup. Um, yeah, and it's got power tilt and telescope. Tilt and, tilt and then there's that heated thing. See, this is that sonar backup thing okay. that goes off when I put it back up in the trailer. <laughs> well, there it is. There's your, I think that's your tilting headlight. Yeah. Is it? Yep. That's how you actually can adjust your headlights. If you got a trailer and you're starting to squat, and I got to climb underneath there. So see stay right see there. Well, I'm trying to see. It looks like it's got some load leveling equipment back here. It's got coils, and then whatever this device is, that's some kind of load leveling. But it looks to me. Like it has a frame. You look at all that, and that looks like a body on frame construction. Which is what I really like. Now in this gorgeous cabin, it just looks so luxurious. Platinum reserve written on everything. And this knob, besides all our trash, we got a power. What is that called? That's tow mode. mode. Snow mode. And snow mode. That's it. I guess they don't want you to go off roading, but it right in the center, and that's where you engage it in two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive or four-wheel drive auto. Yeah, traction control down here. Oh, traction control. That's where you shut it off or if you're racing your neighbors. Make a screen. But you can see the size of the knobs. We're used to big ones. I got big hands, big fingers. Kelsey's got these dainty fingers. It's probably what this is designed for. Those elegant type people, not this rednecks with big hands. But it's pretty cool. A lot of good chrome accents. It's not overdoing on the chrome, it's just enough. And I like it. I like it. I like it. I want more of it. Look at that. Looks like wood. I love the little wrinkled <laughs> cover, whatever that's called. You gotta figure that out. What's that called, Kelsey? I don't have a clue. Now this Platinum Reserve Nissan. It's got a little tiny knob. It's a little Danny Shift knob. That's wild. I could shift it with two fingers, but that's cool. It's all part of the elegant look inside this luxurious SUV. So what do you think there, Cracker Girl? <laughs> <laughs> you like it? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> A-way power seat for you. Mm -hmm. I only get six. Um, got, you don't need to go up and down. I know. It's got heated and controlled seats, or heated and cooled seats in the front, and just heated seats in the back, so I guess they stay hot all the time. Power folding, third row seat, you know about power folding these seats, you're good at that. Intelligent key with memory, remote digital start, that's all the normal stuff. But it's got this little tiny knob. We gotta remember they've got little tiny knobs cover. everywhere. Yeah, so you have to the volume take pictures and of that. Yeah, they got the one, two, three, four, five, six, six control. little knobs. One big one is up here for the main screen. Is the main screen a touch screen? I don't think so, because I think you go, you pick out whatever you want. Like there's nav and apps and you can... It is a touch screen. Oh, it is a touch screen. Oh, oh. Well, oh, now you're in trouble. It's going to talk to you. No, I don't know who I'm talking to or calling, yeah. but... <laughs> I guess it rested here, yeah. <laughs> it's got, of course, the displays in the back of the headrest and the wireless headphones. Five USB ports, 13 speakers. There goes 13. Holy cow. That's a lot of speakers. That is. Hands-free text messaging assistance. Shouldn't be texting and driving. Yeah, it's true. You probably just talk to it. Those are eight-inch screens in these headrests for the kiddos. Or the adults you want to take a road trip with. Yeah. This has got, of course, the moonroof. It's got sonar in front and back, which should tell you what's going on. Brain sensing wipers, I really like those. It took me a while to get used to my rain sensing wipers. Well, you got one on your truck? Mm -hmm. Holy cow. Yeah, the theme here is dark. It's very dark, but it's it's beautiful. Yeah, it's got dark painted roof rails, sidestep rails, over fenders, power lift gate. And with this troll package, it doesn't have a trailer brake control. I don't see a place you can put one. So what they do is they pre-wire so you can add your own brake controller. And it's way down the folks there. folks that give us vehicles, it's a prodigy that they wired in there. I've done that, wired it into a few Nissan Titans. It's really cool, they cut the end of the wires off so it's easy to splice, but you got to put your hands around all the steel framework of the radio and you get a little cut on your hands, yeah. But if it's yours, you only have to do it once. That's true. So, that's 
sure I had to wire in a bunch of trucks, so I did it several times. Bloody fingers. We'll find out soon enough. Man, this interior just makes you feel like you spent a million bucks when you only spent 67000 But it just looks rich. It does look rich. Infinity Bedrove was like that. It just looked gorgeous on the inside. It, it makes you know you're in a luxury SUV. That it is. You don't hear any road noise. Every once in a while you hear some engine noise when you wrap it up, but you don't yeah. hear road noise. And you see a tow haul mode button up on a not button, but a light it's on. It's a light. It says okay, tow. Good. Yeah. It's, it's not able to show here. you that. It shows the snow mode and tow mode. So I guess if you're not just cruising and you want to tow a trailer, hit that. And if you're in the snow, hit the snow. I would say it's really an off-road machine, you know, like this rock climbing or sand. They don't give you a button for those, so it kind of tells you the story. But you do have the traction control you can shut off in some climbing instances. That helps you. But, yep. Now we've got such heavy traffic, you're not going to be able to do a lot of acceleration. And since we're only pulling 3,500 pounds, you're not going to. Give uh, me a good yeah, you're not going to it. really test the pressure. I should have put a heavier trailer on it. It's April. We've been getting trucks and SUVs like every other day. It's just been crazy. But this is a cool one. Our mod is a pretty popular SUV. My daughter-in-law had one. She loved hers. This one is pretty. Ah, oh, I should probably tell you what color it is. I probably can find that. Some special blue. A special blue. Yeah, that's what it's called. Special blue. <laughs> oh, it's called Hormosa blue. Hormosa blue. All right. Wow. And this is a charcoal interior. Charcoal. I don't know which one's charcoal. I, I don't know which one's charcoal because I'd say it's <laughs> black and brown. But. Yeah. And they put this together in Los Angeles. Finally, assembly point in Los Angeles. I didn't know they built cars in Los Angeles. Something new? Yeah, I figured this is like Kentucky or something. Somewhere back east where they moved their headquarters. They used to have Nissan headquarters in, in California. They moved them. I think it's to Kentucky now. Is that what? Yeah. Manufacturer place. It's either Kentucky, Kentucky or Tennessee. Tennessee. So one of those two. We'll check the plate. Yeah, there you go. I think, it, yeah, that's a good idea. I think it's a Tennessee manufacturer's plate. Yeah, this is what I should take the grandkids with and let them watch their movies. Could show them. Show them watching the movies. There's a lot of stuff on that oh, center there's console. A lot of tourists. I suppose those guys are climbing rocks or just hiking. I'd say that they're all taking pictures. Being tourists. It's kind of a small, there it says Platinum Reserve, so now we know it's a preserve. It <laughs> doesn't say on the top of this. But it's a small little console here and a bigger one in the back. Is there a big one in the back? Yeah, the center one. Those captain's chairs, a lot of times that middle section is open, so you can walk back there. You're going to have to actually move the captain's chairs to get in the back. Yeah, we'll have to see how much that second row seat moves and how it folds. And you're the folding girl. You know all about pushing buttons back there. Okay, that's enough. i got to take a nap. Oh, listen to that roar. You know, it's neat to have a V8 thunder. I love it. That's about the only noise That's the only you noise hear. you hear is the engine every once in a while. Yeah, you don't so hear quiet. anything else. Right, right. Maybe your kids in the back, but yeah, and you like TVs the, and everything for that. You're enjoying the speed. Speed. And I wouldn't handles. say you're going over the speed limit, but you're going. You're having fun. <laughs> I have I, I have gone around some of the corners just to keep up with traffic, and it's handled like a charm. It's not swaying. It's not moving. It's. I mean, it's going. It's doing yeah, it's, everything that I'm asking of it. Well, yeah, it's so. a very comfortable ride. I mean, mm -hmm. these are nice plush seats. They got plenty of foam now. I haven't bought them out with my big butt, so we're doing good. It's a nice, smooth, pretty ride, and like you said, it's a rich vehicle and very luxurious. Yeah, it makes you feel wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> then I get back in all my base trucks that I own. And with work our great trucks. windows and everything, yeah. Yeah, I have a lot of work trucks for some reason. <laughs> yeah, I get riding all this cool stuff, I know I'm out of my grade. <laughs> I'm below, I'm above my class. But oh well, rednecks should get it right in this cool stuff once in a while. Every once in a while we can have some fun. Yeah. But hell, it's a nice thing. It is a four-wheel independent suspension, so it's just corners flat. I like it. Does. I should have put an 80, 9500 pound trader on there just to see how that works. But I'm 
show sure I got a chance to do that. But if I can find the. Oh, that's not bad. What's that? Pulling a small trailer and oh. cruising up the mountains. We're at 17.5 miles to the gallon. Yeah, that's impressive for the, you know, how accurate that computer is, but that's nice. That's not bad. Yeah, so you can get 18, and that's that's really good. I mean, we're not stressing this engine out, but usually even this little trailer on almost any truck will pull a few miles now. Yep. And I don't know why, this but this it. one is not doing that. It actually knows it's a small trailer, and it's not trying to choke you with fuel. It's been doing pretty decent. Beautiful 70-degree day up here in Estes. Oh, it's dropped to 70? It's dropped to 70. Oh, I like, I like 60. That's my favorite temperature. Tim Way's power seat, you should be comfortable somehow. Oh, yeah. It, it's <laughs> form fitting, it feels like. That's good. I mean, you got bolsters are fitting. You might, these have been flattened out. I must have flattened the bolsters over here, setting on them. That's what's nice to do all that to hug your hips so you can stay put and not seat. slide with the car on the corners. Tons of pickup truck questions, right? Right. Where do we go for the answers? We go to the Truck Nuts book. Because we're Truck Nuts. <laughs> and we wrote the book, Truck Nuts. We're nuts about truck. The ultimate guy to buy a truck or yep. to look at a truck or judge at a truck. You know, whether it's diesel versus gas, new versus used, what your teenagers should learn about trucks, all that. You do all kinds of cool tests. Yeah, we do a lot of testing. We do the Ike Gauntlet, world's toughest towing test up the mountain and down the mountain. We do MPG testing on the highway, loaded with trailers. Yeah. We do off-road testing. A lot of that data is in this book as well, and it's a one-stop shop for truck information. That's true. We test trucks maximum capacity up to biggest grades you can do on the interstate. Yep. So we really put them to the test. And, you know, you can get all the facts you can't find anywhere else. We do MPG tests, which you can't find on any sticker anywhere. So, you know, all that stuff that you can't find is in the book. And you can find the book at trucknutsbook.com. There are links to Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and all the other bookstores as well. So read about your truck nuts. <laughs>